Glazer fitting, precautions and recommendations. Before fitting your glazer fire, there must be enough clearance for the fire to fit comfortably against a wall. The fire must be well supported in or on any structure. Support should be fitted at the required height to ensure the fire does not hold the weight of a finished wall or chimney breast. The height at which you fix the fire in or on the wall is up to you. We recommend anywhere from 350 to 400 millimeters from the floor to the bottom of the fire opening, not the bottom of the fire itself. Do not squeeze into an opening or twist the fire during installation, as this may deform the case and prevent the glass fitting and working correctly. Unboxing and installation. Open the top of the box, remove the accessory boxes and any excess packaging. Remove the screws at the base of the box and lift off the top carton. Both top and bottom fixing brackets come already attached to the fire. The bottom bracket will have to be removed to begin the process. For now, leave the top bracket in place. With help, tilt the fire forwards and remove the M6 bolts and washers in each corner. Level, mark up and drill the holes with an M10 drill bit and fit the roll plugs. Using the 60 mm screws, secure the bottom bracket to the wall. Place and hold the fire on the bottom bracket and refit the M6 bolts and washers through the slots back into the fire, keeping the fire firmly pushed against the wall. Mark across the length of the top bracket and into the slots above each hole. Once again, remove the M6 bolts and washers in each corner from the bottom bracket and place the fire onto the floor. Remove the top bracket from the fire. Using it as a template, mark the fixing holes on the wall. Drill the holes with an M10 bit and fit the roll plugs. Using the 60 mm screws, fix the top bracket to the wall. Place and hold the fire on the bottom bracket and screw the top bracket back into the fire with the 13 mm screws. At this point, you will be able to level the fire accordingly when refitting the M6 bolts and washers through the slot of the bottom bracket and back into the fire. Most important, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you now fit the mains cable tightly into the fire. Fuel effects and glass fitting. Each glazer fire has its own individual log layout. You will find that booklet in the accessory box, or you can go to the support page at www.flamerightfires.com. Care must be taken to ensure the channel at the front of the fire is not obstructed. Anything dropped into it must be removed before installing the front glass. Once your log effect has been added, you may fit the front glass. Push the side glass back towards the rear of the case. You will notice there is a long gap on the underside of the opening that runs along and in front of the heater outlet. At an angle of approximately 45 degrees, push the glass up into this void, making sure the bottom of the glass clears the lower edge of the opening. Tilt the glass back into the fire and carefully lower into the large channel that runs across the opening, avoiding the dampers. Position the handle on the top right-hand side of the glass. If needed, secure using a 4mm Allen key. The upper glass rail is magnetic and will easily fix into place along the top of the opening. Adjust the position of the handle accordingly into the gap on the rail. With the front glass tilted rearwards, pull the side glass forwards. To open and close the front glass, place your index finger on the handle as shown. You may finally tune the position of the front and side glass panels to give the best possible fit and finish. Finally, and most importantly, test your fire before commencing any further building work and double check the mains cable at the base of the fire. Once your fireplace is fully installed, a decorative trim held on with magnets can be fitted around the base of the fire to hide the fixings. Your installation is complete. Should you require any further help or support, please visit 
www.flamerightfires.com.